it comes to losing weight, there's a couple ways that I use or tools I use with my clients. I use the tool of macro tracking. Now, if you're not ready for macro tracking, then we use pictures of your food and we use our hand for portion sizes. Something else that I think is overlooked because we talk so much about having foods that we enjoy, which I highly, highly suggest you eat foods that you enjoy. If you want a cookie today, that's totally okay. But where does that fit within your plan, right? I think that if we're not tracking our macros, we don't really understand what protein, carbs, and fats are. When we stick to less processed foods, meat, veggies, potato, uh, meat, veggies, rice, whatever it may be, sticking to those types of foods that are more whole foods, um, clean foods, if you will. I don't love that, but I like to have treats and that's totally okay. And our family goes out to eat. I tracked my macros for a very long time. I don't currently, I just track my protein. I have a small little spreadsheet in my phone and I put in the protein of whatever foods I eat because I know because I've done it for so long. So that is something that if you're advanced and we're working out of tracking, then that's totally an option too. But if we have a goal and our goal is weight loss, we have to know what our foods are. Um, we need to be in a calorie deficit. So whether we're tracking our food or not, we still have to eat less than what we were eating when we were maintaining our weight to lose fat. So through that process, it can be through portion sizes on our plate. It can be through tracking our macros, or it can be through reducing our calories via processed foods and eating more whole foods. Now, there is um, something I like to call restrict and binge cycle, and that can happen when we highly restrict our food to just those whole clean foods. So we have to find a balance between there. So it's really great to have a coach. I check in with my clients every week, so that way we can kind of understand where our mindset is. The dog will not stop barking. Um, where we are, just how are we feeling emotionally, physically. Those are all really important, right, when it comes to balance. What do you think would work best for you? Macro tracking, portion sizes, 